The federal government has charged all stakeholders to deliberately initiate measures to increase food production for the population by the year 2024. The Minister of Water, Resources and Sanitation, Professor Joseph Usev, made us known at the flag of ceremony of the 2023 and 2024 dry season farming, which took place at the Benin Owena River Basin Development Authority in Edo State. The minister stated that President Bola Tinubu has mandated the 12 river basin development authorities in the country to end food scarcity in the country by the year 2024 by taking advantage of the dry season farming and other avenues available to them. We are here to flag up the 2023 dry season farming. And we are here at Beni Owena River Basin Development Authority to do the flagging, flag up. I want to use this uh, platform to call on all the 12 river basins under my ministry to commence the dry season, the 2023 dry season farming around the country, as this will boost food production in line with the President Bola Metinibu Renew Hope Agenda. I also want to appeal to all the communities and state governments to make available land to our river basins. They are the ones that has the mandate and the capacity to provide water that is needed for the dry season farming. We are providing the water that is being required for the dry season farming to our farmers and our commercial practitioners that are partnered with, in, with us in line with the food security agenda of Mr. President. Earlier in his opening remark, the Managing Director Benin Owena River Basin Authority, Engineer Salyu Ahmed, assured the Minister of their commitment toward achieving the mandate by the President. The Benin Owena River Basin Development Authority is poised to be the reference point for all planners, consultants, researchers, agriculturists, and other stakeholders in the water sector. We are in a position to collaborate efficiently with sister organizations. So today, Honorable Minister, you stand on the sands of history as you formally install or unveil this huge resource of knowledge and data for the benefit of our country, Nigeria, and Nigerians.